Hello! Yes, guys, I'm using my own voice for the first time here, so... I don't know how it it sounds, but uh, tell me in the comments down below if you prefer my voice or uh, the AI voice. Because uh, this is my first video I try to record. I don't know how it uh, will sound. No, I never uh, did videos like this. Like, uh, I don't have a, a good mic, and uh, so... So yeah, my, tell me in the comments if it's good or bad. So in today's video I will be making a tier list of uh, the events in Last Day on Earth. Try to rank them from uh, the best to the worst. Here we have the categories, we have the good event, the good, decent, meh, and trash. So I will be go over, going over all the events and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, so let's start off with the airdrop, so it's I'd say a pretty good event overall It has good uh, loot, you can get weapons and good resources like uh, gasoline and uh, And yeah, good good materials But uh, it's not like, it's not that good, it's just like decent, I'd say Because uh, also it ha doesn't have that much uh, zombies you have to kill, so you can do it with the uh, just uh, loot here, melee weapon. I would say it's a good event overall. So I'd say it's, I would put it in good because uh, it doesn't take much to clear it and it has uh, good loot. Then uh, we have the dealer. So dealer is pretty easy to, to do, like uh, spawns once a week, so you can do it once a day, sorry. So you can do it and uh, ex exchange uh, resources for uh, a weapon. So it depends on the resources. Maybe don't want to spend too much, but usually it's pretty cheap. So yeah, it's pretty cheap to, and you can get uh, like uh, guns and like uh, M16 and uh, Glock and uh, shotgun. Yeah, so it's de I'd say it's definitely worth it to trade those uh, those guns the, for uh, for resources because it's I think it's yeah. I would say it's pretty good. I would put it in the same category as uh, the airdrop. Then this one is the rest stop. So I'd rest stop event. I would. I think you know where I would put this uh, event. I would say immediately that it's a goat event. Like it's the best. It's the best of the best, basically. Like you, the loot you can get here uh, is top tier. You can get uh, modded uh, Glocks and uh, M16. You can get uh, resources. And uh, it's definitely a bit worth going there, like uh, you, don't, you don't use too much uh, guns there, like one maybe, one, uh, one half, half uh, gun and some uh, medkits for, and uh, back you can get uh, like uh, double that, double the guns and uh, more resources, so yeah, say if you have the chopper you can uh, clear this event like every day, try to do it every day, so you can get the, those, those juicy resources. And there is the, say, the pier and the fishing pond are basically the same, like, even though I, I would say that uh, the pier is uh, better than uh, fishing spot, because uh, for the pier I would say it's, like, decent if you want to get uh, fish for once in a while, I don't fish that much, basically, I don't know, I don't think fishing has uh, that much, like, use for now maybe in the future you would add uh, more stuff to it but right now it's not it doesn't have that much use like uh, i i basically never ever go to fish like uh, it's pretty rare so for these events i would put them basically in the same categories i would say like even though like i said pier is in my opinion better than the fishing spot because it has lots of uh, fish of the different uh, various types of fish so I would put, the, but I would still put them both in uh, meh because uh, you know it's just uh, it's just uh, fishing events. You know you don't use them that much. Then we have the crashed plane. I uh, know this this event doesn't appear. Uh, it appears only for beginners, so you won't see it too much. But I, it's, I thought I would uh, put it here since it's an event like all these ones, even though it spawns only in uh, the beginning for uh, beginner players. 
but still it's a pretty good event like it's uh, decent I would say it's decent for our beginners it has uh, mid loot like no not the best but for a beginner definitely it's like it's good and there's not too much zombies there's so like uh, one or two roaming zombies and that's it so for beginners yeah I would say I would put it in uh, decent because it, I would say it's pretty, pretty good like it's decent for uh, beginners uh, yeah so yeah put it in decent then we have the oak clearing so oak clearing is kind of I would say for me personally I'd say it's a uh, trash event like doesn't have that much loot like it has the oak it's like 20 oak and that's it like it doesn't have uh, all the loot you can get doesn't have uh, anything and plus add to that it's depending on what uh, variant you get from uh, this it can be pretty dangerous to clear it so yeah I don't I would say it's not worth it to clear it and even though even if like zombies there and the AI were uh, were not there like it was uh, an easy location to clear I would still put it in trash because there is not that much uh, loot to get there you know so I would say it's yeah trash because if they add like maybe more trees and more loot you can get maybe it can go a bit upper but I think you should just clear the normal uh, oak locations and uh, get your uh, oak from there then we have the con destroyed convoy so destroyed convoy I, would, I don't know really depends like on uh, on what uh, level you are because if you are an advanced player the loot you can get there is pretty like basic you can you can don't need all the loot there like there is maybe one uh, steel plate I think there's like maybe some resources like uh, spring maybe there is it could be there's some armor maybe I don't know but it's not that good like uh, for an advanced player it's not that good plus depending on what uh, event you get because there is two variations one with zombies and one with uh, AI AI player so yeah but still it's like it's pretty dangerous uh, location to get and if there is a chance you get the uh, finger in the body, like uh, in the dead body, and open the locker in uh, bunker alpha. Then I'd say it's good, but it's not always. You can you don't get always uh, that uh, that finger. So I would say I would put it in. I would say decent, but decent or good, I don't know. But like uh, I, I would put it in good. No, put it in good. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, what's your opinion on this event. Then for the junkyard, lastly junkyard, I think you know what's what tier I would put it. This is a, a trash event. Like I don't know. It's pretty hard to get. Like uh, it's le level forty chopper, so it's not the easiest to, uh, event to access. Then. On top of that, there is tons of zombies and AI players with armor and uh, guns and uh, like they hit hard. So you have to be equipped to clear this area. Plus, if you die there, like there is a chance if you die there that you will miss and you will not get back your loot because the 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 event lasts for like five minutes. So you have to be quick. And on top of that, the loot is like, I would say pretty trash there, like it's not good. Uh, you get uh, some ATV parts like uh, uh, cog and uh, car batteries, but it's not worth it in my opinion. Like it, the only reason I clear uh, this event is because uh, the Raiders task when they ask you to get two, two car engines other than that yeah I don't clear it at all I guess I'd say it's not the best event maybe if they add more loot and make it easier yeah maybe I would put it like indecent maybe but still it's like a trash event you shouldn't clear it at all you like don't approach this event especially if you are uh, low on guns like don't do it so yeah 
So I think this is my the end of the tier list. So I let me know in the comments, of course, what's your opinion, and uh, if you agree with this tier list. Uh, yeah. So yeah, and of course, let me know in the comments uh, also what you think about this uh, type of videos. You know, where I'm using my own voice, or you would prefer to use? Uh, I would use uh, my uh, an AI voice, like I don't know. Because I think, in my opinion, what I should do is uh, I would do these videos like this where, uh, where I just talk, like I'm giving my opinion, I would use my own voice, my own voice. But when I am doing uh, like an explanation video, like where there is a lot of information, like I need to give it like straight away, I would say I would use my the AI voice, like. Let me know in the comments down below, yeah. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to, uh, like, to like, comment and subscribe. And uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.